definition. The Western Swing for the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series continues here at City Centre Airport in Edmonton. And one thing we've been able to count on with the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series road racing is drama and exciting finishes right to the checkered flag. When these big, bad stock cars come to the street circuits and road courses across the country, they don't mess around. Finesse and technique is matched up with bold and brash moves. It's a sprint to the finish, and it's the finishes that leave everyone gasping and wanting more. This is round number six of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series presented by Sirius Satellite Radio from the runways of the Rexall Speedway. This is the Edmonton 100. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Edmonton, Alberta. I'm Dave Bradley, along with Billy Rose Jr. and Todd Lewis, as always, is trackside. Billy, this is always the highlight on a racing schedule. Well, Dave, the people of Edmonton love their racing, and they have once again come out in droves. When these NASCAR late models get fired up, these people rush to the grandstands so they can see the action. Well, the crowd got their money's worth last week when the tour was in Vernon. That's where Don Thompson Jr. captured his first win of the season with Scott Steckley finishing second. Steckley hounded him for the final few laps, but it was Don Thompson Jr. out distancing him, coming home with his first victory. Well, it was good to see Don Thompson get his first win of the year, but Steckley has three wins, a second, a fourth place finish. He's Mr. Consistency, and that's what's gonna win this tow truck in a box machine, his first championship. And there you see the Castrol points chase with Steckley in front by commanding 111 points over Don Thompson Jr. Well, having said that, Thompson, Kennington, Ranger, and Gibbons have all had great seasons, but the consistency of the 22 car has just put them all on the back burner. In qualifying yesterday, the 19 of Brad Graham set the fourth quickest time. And Trevor Siebert here from British Columbia was third quick at 122.7. And the number seven Walmart Ubisoft Ford Fusion of Alex Tagliani was pretty quick throughout the session, but fell just a little bit short as his teammate Andrew Ranger from Roxton Pond, Quebec, scorched the field with a time of 1 minute 20.797. The 2007 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series champion was 8 tenths of a second faster than Tagliani, giving him his first pole of the season. Let's go trackside now to where Todd Lewis is standing by. Thanks, guys. Let's talk to the front row. Andrew Ranger starting on the pole position again. Andrew, a little unfinished business at this track from last year. Yeah, it was, uh, I was bad like last year. We finished second year, but uh, we got a great car. Uh, the car's been perfect all weekend. Uh, hopefully we can uh, touch the win today. Andrew Ranger will lead them off from pole position. Alongside on the front row, his teammate, Alex Tagliani, who, of course, has a number of laps at this racetrack, but in a champ car. Alex, you made a pretty good adjustment to these stock cars here in Edmonton. How do you look forward to that first corner, especially with Andrew? Well, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying my time in these cars. Obviously, I miss uh, open wheel for sure. Um, but uh, for this particular race, um, Dave Jacobs and the, the whole racing team, Alex Nagy, did a fantastic job. And hopefully we can bring uh, the two cars up front at the end of the race. Uh, it is going to be fun to watch the French connection going into quarter one. And for 32 laps here in Edmonton, we'll get it started. And the green flag will wave when we come back. The sixth round of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series on TSN is brought to you by Castrol Syntec. Unlock the power. By Mopar. Authentic performance. By Duplicolor, the premium brand leader in automotive paints, primers, and coatings. And by Dickies. Nominate your Canadian Worker of the Year. Well, the command to start your engines has been given here in Edmonton. 22 big V8 motors roar to life here at the road course. There's a look at the 14 Monte Carlo, James Van Domsler. He's a local boy out of Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. And there's the front row owned by Dave Jacobs Racing. The team has had some bad luck, is now hoping to turn it around here in Edmonton. And we'll ride along on board today with Todd Nickel in the Chevrolet. And we'll take a look at the full Duplicolor starting grid again. The front row made up of Alex Tagliani and his teammate, 2007 NASCAR Canadian Terry Series champion Andrew Ranger. Trevor Siebert and Brad Graham make up row number two. Then a look back to your points leader, Scott Stackley in the 22 and J.R. Fitzpatrick in the 84. Row number four brings us D.J. Kennington in the 17 and Mark Dilley drives the nine. And then row number five is Kerry Mix in the 02. Anthony Simone drives the 95. 
Row number six, Don Thompson Jr. fresh off his first win of the season and Peter Gibbons drives the number one Canadian tire Ford. Dave Whitlock's in the 39. Jason Hathaway drives the three. They make up row number seven. That'll look back to Ron Beauchamp Jr. in the 60 and Derek Lynch in the 77. James Van Dom Salar in the 14 and Todd Nickel in the six or in row number nine. And then Jared Whistle in the 44 and Jason White in the 21. Row number 11. As Ken Noon in the number 18, the Interstate Battery Chevrolet, and John Gaunt in the 12. And that's the field here in Edmonton. Well, what a great looking field of stock cars here in Edmonton today. Let's take a look at the Allied Steel Buildings race analysis. The distance today is 32 laps or 100 kilometers. It's a 3.15, 14 turn road course. It's a 27 degree sunny day. And just because it's a temporary street circuit doesn't mean there won't be some great action inside curbs, outside curbs, and the man who can get it done all day long without breaking is gonna be the winner. So the drivers weave side to side to warm up their tires. Let's throw it to Todd. Updates, fellas, on a couple of cars that are dropping back in the field before the start. The 9 and the 39 of Mark Dilley and Dave Whitlock both had clutch problems, new clutches, but they failed yesterday. They made the change. They're going to the back. And the 0-2 of Kerry Mix had a problem with an intake gasket as well. He will fall to the back of the field, but does have a plan to get toward the front. He'll need a little help from the cautions, but he plans to be there at the end. I don't know about Kerry, but me as a driver, when I'm starting out the back with a strong horse like his, I'm going to dive through those slow cars right off the green flag, get as many passes as I can, and then hopefully some cautions will bunch it back up so I can get some more. Well, as Todd mentioned, you're, you're right. He will need a few cautions to help him out. A great aerial view of the Rexall Speedway. Here's the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series field. Lines up to take the green. We'll have six onboard cameras to help us follow all the action here in Edmonton. And Here's a look from inside the driver's compartment as all six get ready to go to green here in Edmonton. The Dodge Caliber SRT4 pace car pulls off down pit lane. The two Dave Jacobs racing cars lining up side by side. They head out onto the front stretch here in Edmonton looking for the green flag. A good field of cars in behind. There's Sean Gibbs waiting, holding the field. The green flag waves and we're underway. Watch this as they all fan out. This is a huge runway. There's all kinds of room. Look at that. Three, four, five wide back there. And down into corner number one. Everybody gets in cleanly as we're still three or four wide deep in the pack. Mostly two by two, though, as the front five start to stretch out. Single file. We got a car off. It looks like it's Kerry Mix. On board with Todd Nickel in that Norton Chevrolet. He knows his way around this course. He's got several races under his belt here before. Andrew Ranger jumps to the lead off pole with his teammate Alex Tagliani, a rookie here in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. But as we mentioned, he does have a number of laps here in Edmonton in an open wheel car. But this is a vastly different feeling when you're in a stock car. Well, Dave Jacobs has got to be very proud. Both his boys up front, Al Blanchard horsepower, seems to be getting the job done. How about Trevor Siebert, though, in the 69 car, holding off your points leader, the tow truck in a box, number 22 of Scott Steckley, as we ride on board with Peter Gibbons back in the four, or back in the Ford car for the road courses. That was a great shot of Peter going up through the gears in that Ford Fusion. But it is a pair of Fords, actually a trio of Fords, leading this field as you see a great field of NASCAR Canadian Tire Series cars. Racing on by our speed shot as Andrew Ranger comes off the final corner. He will lead lap number one here in Edmonton. Steckley has a run on Siebert, but Siebert's going to take defensive action. Wiggles in the braking zone. Uh, there's what's so much fun about this temporary street circuit that is actually on an airport runway. The runways are so wide, Dave, you can actually miss the apex of the corner and still come out fast because there's so much room to race. If that was a Mossport or a Shannonville or a Three Rivers, you'd be way off in the weeds. But here, the runways are like 150 feet wide. But you saw in that shot how wide the runway is, and then it really funnels down into this tight section. Well, that's what keeps these guys on their toes. All of a sudden, we go from all that room to really not a lot of room. So it is still Scott Steckley stalking the 69 of Trevor Siebert. Steckley in the tow truck in a box. Number 22, you saw a plane landing in the background. This is an active airport. We seem to forget that sometimes. Well, it is a hot airport, day for sure, and it's not the first time at this racetrack I've seen one land in the background. So the Walmart Ford of Alex Tagliani now looking to the inside of his teammate, down through the gears, um, and he's on the inside. What a textbook move. Got down into the gearbox first, third, second, got into the braking zone in the bottom, and his partner had no place to go but to watch it happen. But Andrew Ranger, smart racer in his own right, he knows there's plenty of time left here in the Edmonton 100, and there'll be time to get him back. 
That's for sure. Look at this. Give Trevor Siebert a, a nod there. You know, not a lot of races in these cars uh, and just doing a wonderful job on his home track. Well, you mentioned the last time, but did you see the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick? How wide he went way off that corner as he bangs over the curbs here, trying to get past the full throttle dodge of Brad Graham. Well, one thing about it, what I was talking about is you can miss the apex, but the other thing that happens, Dave, is you can keep the car wound up. It's all, it's all about momentum and how much speed you can carry through the corner. Great aerial view there of the leaders with Alex Tagliani leading the 27 of Andrew Ranger. We're two laps in here in Edmonton. 